What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Coinology. Today we're going to be looking at the GTX 1060, also the P106 100. Both are 6 gigabyte cards, pretty much identical. 1060 is uh, going to be the model with a actual video output. The P106 on the other hand is a stripped down version and has no video. Let's jump into these cards. So looking at the NVIDIA specs, we have 1,280 CUDA cores, 1506 is the graphics clock max, 1708 is the processor clock max, obviously 6 gigabytes on both cards, it's a GDDR5 memory, 192 bit. Looks like the maximum wattage is 120. Um, obviously a more of a low powered card it recommends a 400 power or 400 watt power supply all these cards the p106 100s and the 1060s are going to use a six pin uh, PCI cable moving over to profitability at 10 cents You've got Caspa Heavy Hash being mined on Nice Hash. 11 cents is going to be your revenue. You're going to lose 11 cents. Um, obviously, identical if you mine the raw Caspa, which is what I'm doing right now. There's obviously some loss, but if you're buying every day, you're losing to transaction fees, anyways. At least if you're mining something like Caspa, um, you're mining raw cryptocurrency and you're not doxing yourself through an exchange or anything like that. You're just able to store the raw cryptocurrency. So that looks good. Does okay on uh, Ravencoin or Neoxa. It's kind of surprising. Here's Flux. ET Hash, it's not great. Beam, ETC, none of these uh, are gonna be very well mined on a 1060 or a P106. But like I said, right now I'm mining Caspa. Moving over to eBay right now, you can purchase a 1060 with a display output for about 80, 80, 90, $100, somewhere in there. But what I've been doing is if you go over to the P106, which is obviously just a down tuned, or excuse me, a stripped down version of the 1060, um, the prices are looking a lot better. I mean, I don't need video output, I just need them to mine. And there's a whole slew of them here for about 50 bucks. You can build a rig. Yeah, these prices are are very low. Alibaba has them right now. They're about $55 a card. So this is a great option. Let's uh, jump into the overclocks. Okay, so first up is going to be Caspa. That's what I'm mining right now. Um, as far as the overclocks that I'm running, I've got the core at 200. The um, power is going to be at 60. And then if you go over to your flight sheet and edit it, and you can and you set up the miner. In the extra config arguments, you're going to add in a core clock lock of 1,305 
from everybody that I've, you know, seen or um, asked, this is going to be the best uh, way to lock the clock and ensure that you're getting those lower wattages per card. Um, as you can see, each card is using only 50 watts. And the actual rig only uses 20 watts. So we're at about 270 watts total on the full machine. Let's move over to East EDC. Okay guys, I got Flux up right now on uh, Equihash. And these cards run about 20 souls each. The lowest I could get the wattage is about 70 watts on average. The overclocks on that I'm using are 170 on the core, 1400 on the memory, and then 70 on the power limit. These are overclocks that I found online. Uh, and at 1400 on the memory, this thing is basically maxed out. Um, there's not much more we can do with these. One of these cards are hitting 21, but I think that's just the uh, silicon lottery. The As far as the P106s go, the colorful uh, versions of the cards are tend to have better silicon lottery. All those cards that I've purchased have higher um, hash rate, and then they also have lower watts. That's something to think about. So guys, really quickly, I was working on overclocks and um, the flight sheets for ETC, ETH, and Ergo. And unfortunately, these cards use so much power and are so unprofitable, I'm just not gonna waste my time on them. So in conclusion, what I would say is that these cards are fantastic for Casba. They're pretty good for flex. Um, I wouldn't use them for any other algorithms. Uh, the ones that use too much um, core clock uh, end up create, or excuse me, memory clock, uh, end up using just too much power, and it's just not worth it these days. So, yeah, if you're looking for a good Casper card that's cheap, $55 a pop, this is the way I go. Have a good night, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.